Woo. What's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. The Budla Log. If you're new to the vlog, my name is Mark Santa Maria. I am an RC enthusiast. I go over a whole bunch of stuff that's RC. I also do some other random stuff, which you'll see on my channel. But today I gotta start off with a story. So yesterday I decided to I think you can see it in the back. The Traxxas Stampede. I decided to kind of fix up the Traxxas Stampede so my son could go driving RC with me at night. We got two boys, so one of them was going to drive the Telluride, one of them was going to drive the Stampede. And instead of letting them use a DX4R to drive the Stampede, I decided I was going to bind up one of the Traxxas radios. That way if he drops it or, you know, falls down or something, it doesn't destroy a $300 radio and it only destroys a factory radio. So, I started digging through some of my stuff. And for you guys who don't know, I used to be the guy who would buy everything. Um, when people want to get rid of stuff, I would just buy it a lot and then I would part it out and sell it, which I do plan on doing vlogs on how to buy and sell stuff, which I made a little bit of money, nothing to obviously live on, but it was fun doing it. Anyways, I found a Traxxas radio and I found a hidden gem in my Traxxas radio. I had an old Traxxas TQI radio and I guess whenever I traded it, I didn't even real, or whenever I bought it or got it in a trade, I didn't realize it actually had the Traxxas link in it. So I bought a Traxxas link. Here's the Traxxas link I bought. I bought the Traxxas link and I think they retail, uh, they retail for about 40 bucks. Uh, NDRC World had them for 38 49 Big thanks to NDRC World for hooking me up with that. But they're about 40 bucks and they plug into the back of your radio. But I had one on, a, on an old trader or old buy that I bought. So I actually hooked it up to my TRX4 and I want to give you guys a run through of what I thought. So here we go. All right, so before I go into what I think about the TQI radio, let me kind of give you guys a, an overview on what it is and just, just in case you've been living under a rock in the RC world. So the Traxxas TQI radio is the factory radio that comes with more of the Traxxas high-end models. So I have actually three radios. I have the old school TQI. This is actually like the base TQ radio that you'll get if you get one of the lower end Traxxas models. And then if you get one of the higher end Traxxas models like your Revos, your Slash 4x4s, your, uh, actually Platinums don't come with it. But anyways, your more expensive uh, Traxxas models, you'll get a TQI, TQI radio. And what the I is, is, I'm assuming it's intelligent. And when it comes out of the box, you don't get the actual module. So it's TQI, TQI ready, but you actually have to buy the module, which again I said was about 40 bucks and the module kind of just plugs into the back of your radio like this and what it enables you to do it enables you to Bluetooth to an Android or iOS device and you can basically set your radio up with the app so what makes the TQI cool the way they market it is it has like this cool dashboard which shows you your RPMs your voltage your speed um, a whole bunch of your temperatures, a whole bunch of cool stuff. But what they don't tell you, which actually they probably do tell you, but you assume that whenever you hook this thing up, you get it all, uh, is you have to buy all the telemetry modules for it. So whenever you go into the app, you actually set up your radio to be able to bind to the app or Bluetooth to the app. And then your radio actually communicates to your ESC and then your ESC binds to your radio and then it, it's able to tell you telemetry from your ESC into your phone or the app. And you have to buy the sensor, so you'll have to buy like a temperature sensor, and then you'll have to buy the voltage sensor, and then you'll have to buy the speed sensor, which most of these models don't come with those uh, stock. So that's really what the TQI is. It's basically a telemetry radio that Traxxas offers, but you have to buy the module and the little pieces or the telemetry, the telemetry connectors to go into your ESC that connect to your car. So Traxxas actually released two different kinds of TQI radios. I actually have the older one. This is the older TQI radio. This one actually came with my Stampede 4x4 again at the time and actually still now it's more of a higher end model. It also comes with the Traxxas X01 and as you can see it's actually significantly bigger than the newer TQI. This is the newer TQI, TQI radio. This is the one that came with my TRX4. As you can see there's that fourth channel up top. Um, but these are basically the two different kinds that they've released. The very first one they released, they released it with a iPod connector. Which this is the old school iPod connector. Look how big this connector is. So the problem with the older TQI is they released it right when Apple started kind of moving all their stuff into lightning connectors. 
So this was kind of an obsolete connector already. So in order for you to get this to work, if you had any, like any somewhat newer generation phone when this came out, is you'd have to buy the adapter and it would kind of stick out far, but it had this thing where you could mount the phone onto the radio. So the connector was lame, but I will say mounting the phone onto the radio was actually pretty cool because it made you feel like you had a high-end radio because you had your iPod or your iPhone at the time um, on there. And there's kind of a picture down there at the bottom that kind of shows you how it connects on there. But it made you feel like you had a high-end radio with the screen. And if you had all your telemetry modules configured and connected onto your ESC, you could actually see all your speeds and RPMs and voltage, and that was pretty cool. So this was the very first one they created. They never updated it to have the lightning connector. It was still the old iPod connector. And instead of creating it with an old iPod connector or whatever connector that you wanted, they ended up doing the whole Bluetooth thing. And this is the newer one. It's a lot smaller. It's not as bulky on the bottom. And there's no way to mount your phone on here. So you Bluetooth to your phone and you can control everything through there. Actually, I don't even have my phone with me, but I'll do that in a second. Anyways, so although it was easier and kind of cooler to be able to Bluetooth your phone, it didn't have the mount on the bottom, which I think the mount's kind of cool. So my son actually likes this radio because whenever we go driving at night or whenever we go driving when we're walking, he likes to put his iPod on here and we'll bring a speaker and he'll control the music and he'll be able to drive and then pick songs that he likes to uh, listen to with this with his uh, iPod connected to a speaker so or his headphones. So that was kind of cool, but it is kind of bulky. So those are actually the two types of TQI radios that you can find right now. This one's actually pretty obsolete, but you still probably run into this. So real quick, I'll kind of show you all the app. I won't go through the app because there's a lot of stuff on the app, but basically you can download it, I guess on the Google store or the Apple store. It's called Traxxas Link. And it starts off with giving you like a, an ad. Not really an ad, but you can skip the video. And you have like this thing right here. And it gives you all the different things you can do. You can select different uh, model profiles. You can change the model on your radio. So the way Traxxas radios work is they're already pre-configured for all the settings to be perfect for your Traxxas model. So if you were to try to move a Traxxas radio and uh, radio and ES or radio and receiver to another model, you'd have to change the model, and it would pre-configure it to that model. So you're able to do that. And before you have this, the, the way you programmed it without this is you'd have to use this crazy menu tree and you'd have to hold this button and then pat your head and then rub your belly and do a couple of circles and then hit this button and then hit that button three times and wait for 15 flashes. It was kind of crazy. So this makes it really easy to be able to select models and also do any of your configurations. Endpoints were kind of a big pain in the butt with the TQ radio with the TQ uh, Traxxas link. It actually makes setting endpoints super easy. You can just go to your garage and then you can do your channel setup and you can go to all your different channels and then set that up. So I'm not going to go through all this stuff, but it does making configure it does make configuring your Traxxas radio super easy. And it does you can do the endpoints, uh, everything that you can do on a high end radio you can pretty much do on this. It even has all your telemetry set up. Actually, it, has, it actually has Traxxas stability management, which I don't have TSM on any of my cars, but apparently that makes it where you don't freaking spin out and stuff like that so one more thing I forgot to tell, show you guys this is probably what you guys want to see the little dashboard Let's see if I can get it where there you go it's a dashboard so he has your RPM gauge your speedometer your voltage and your temperature that's kind of cool but again it was cool whenever you could put it on your radio and see it now you don't have a way to put it on your radio so that's a perfect transition on what I think about the TQI radio with the Traxxas link I used it last night uh, we went driving last night at night at a park and it was we had a lot of fun uh, it was super handy like I could tell my whenever I, I basically whenever I connected it because my stuff has never been connected to it it had to do some updates so it had to update my radio and it also updated my ESC so my endpoints were a little off and it was super easy to set my endpoints I say super easy because I was like I don't have to set it up you know I don't have to do this whole thing and go into my menu it's really intuitive on the app I will say what was kind of a pain in the butt, if you can't drive your car with one hand, you need two people to do it. So whenever I was setting my endpoints, I basically had to control it with one hand and set my endpoints to my phone. So I'm sitting there in the park like this, which for me, fortunately I got fairly large hands, I can do that. But if you're a little kid or you don't have big hands, that's gonna be kind of a pain in the butt to turn and set your endpoints with this like this. 
Whereas with the old one, if you had it connected, it's pretty easy. You can kind of control and then, you know, move it. There's basically something holding your phone. So, although I like the Bluetooth aspect, I, they definitely should have got rid of the connector because everything's Bluetooth and connectors are, you know, there's different connectors for a phone. So, although I li like the Bluetooth aspect, it was kind of a pain in the butt <coughs> to hold them both. But, as for the functionality of it, it was super good. I mean, I could set the endpoint super easy. Um, I don't have any of the telemetry set up, which I, that would have been cool. One of the things I wanted to do was be able to hook the speedometer up and be able to hook the speedometer up and see how it compares with actually hitting the radar gun, which I'm not sure how well it would compare because I think it actually monitors the speed based on the, on the, uh, on the gearing. So you set the gearing, then it basically sees the speed of your transmission. That's how it bases speed, which isn't true speed. To me, I mean, I guess it could be, it could be pretty close, but what it won't be catching is, you know, if you have wheel size differences or tire size differences, it's not going to be able to catch that. But overall, it's pretty freaking cool. I don't, I didn't get much use out of it besides being able to set my radio up. I mean, there's nothing I can really do until you have any, everything set up. So yeah, I kind of want to get the speed sensors, but even if I got the speed sensors and temperature sensor, I mean, what am I going to do? Am I going to have my phone out and drive at the same time? So my thought is it's, su it's a super cool option and a super cool thing that Traxxas offers on a, on a RTR car. And it does give you somewhat of the flexibility and uh, custom, custom ability, customizable. I don't know. Custom ability. I don't know. Cus customness. Is that it? Dude, it's a lot harder than you think it is. If I was just talking normally, I'd probably be able to knock this out, but it's a lot harder than you think it is when you're in front of a camera. Anyways, gives you the ability to customize your stuff like a high-end radio, but it's not, you know, it's an RTR radio, so that's cool. But at the same time, it's kind of lame that you have to buy all the modules for it. Like, I'm probably going to have to dump another 50 bucks in here to get all these gauges to work, and when I do that, am I really going to use it? Probably not. However... I do like it. I know that Traxxas, um, and this is kind of like a, I don't even know if this is an insider tip. I heard a rumor. How about we say that? I heard a rumor that Traxxas is really going to start pushing this radio, and I think that would be cool. We'll see how that goes. So there you have it, the, Taxi, the Traxxas TQI radio. Traxxas. <laughs> the Traxxas TQI radio. Um, it's a cool radio. You should definitely give it a try. And if anything, it makes it super easy to select your models and set your endpoints. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and you'll see me next time. Thanks a lot, guys.